is uh, highly in tune with this recon, understands the processes and how all this stuff works. He really uh, is a fantastic contributor here to the radio NECWX, and we greatly appreciate uh, that you help us out with here. Um, yeah, we uh, we have a very serious situation. There's just no way fans or butts about it here. But, yeah, the waves are building. Nothing too exceptional right now um, at this uh, reporting station that's uh, just south of Alabama, um, 64 or 17-foot. Uh, ah, that's a piece of, piece of cake. Now, there was a buoy out there that was buoy number uh, 42003 that we were monitoring. And it was out in the Gulf of Mexico, but I see now it's, like, down, I guess. I wonder if that buoy got is broken because uh, I think we were getting observations. I'm pretty sure I was clicking that link and getting ops from it yesterday, and now it's nothing. Um, if anybody's got any uh, verification that, I'd appreciate that, because I think that we actually, uh, one of the main buoys out there that we've been watching for some data is uh, is down, is gone, and go figure. Um, we've got a monster hurricane here. Uh, here's another one, 42001. We'll see if that one's uh, This one actually, uh, station 42001, it's uh, about 180 nautical miles south-southwest of past Louisiana. So this actually is getting pretty close. They've got a north wind at 40 knots sustained with gusts to 56 knots. So that's uh, over 60 mile an hour gusts. Um, wave heights are uh, about 19.4. Right now they've been increasing a great deal. As uh, last night they were about 12 foot. So now here they're almost up to... Uh, to 20 foot. So things are quickly deteriorating in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and um, we uh, certainly would want to mention, too, for people to stay out of the water. Even today, at this point in the game, people really should not be in the water at all. This is a massive hurricane that's uh, got a huge circulation. And the fact of the matter is, is a uh, 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 we, we're going to have issues with riptides throughout the Gulf of Mexico, and, and I really am concerned about that, and uh, that's right, um, absolutely. Uh, Craig, uh, I, I know you're in here and you're mentioning you're going to take off. Uh, before you go, did you, did you want to uh, maybe have a comment related to what we're, what we're seeing this morning? Ah, darn the luck. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, Craig, I believe, is a meteorologist down in Miami, uh, and um, he came in. He's been in actually for a while listening in here, and, of course, he's busy doing other stuff as well. And We're just trying to, trying to get input uh, from people as the day goes along here. Um, we're actually looking for an, another advisory that's going to be coming out here pretty soon. Um, I need to be hitting the refresh button. In fact, until that time, we're going to take a quick break here at Radio NHCWX. And uh, we will be back in a little while. Um, actually, frankly, so don't think you're going to get the get the bells. If you're listening, in, go uh, um, whatever be the by all means for a little while, and uh, and we'll be right back, probably with the latest update from the National Hurricane no, Center. Okay, um, Mike, you hit hello. Go ahead, Mike. Sorry to cut you off there. Uh, reconnaissance just reported a uh, pressure of 907. 907. So the trend continues to continue to drop for a few hours as well, possibly. It may be slightly, but as, as we know, if the pressure drops, it just, it's a minute before the winds catch up. It takes some time, and uh, they're clearly picking up. I imagine we're going to have uh, winds at the next advisory of at least 170 miles an hour, it sounds like, from the information you've given us here. And... Uh, we're holding this system because uh, it looks like the intensification phase and possibly uh, the record uh, storm is going to be here in in, uh, in our eyes. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, Craig, I see you made a post in there. Did you want to make a comment related to this before you're in and out? I can't. Yeah, I can't hear. That was muted or something. Okay, Mike, uh, would you go ahead and I, I guess you've got some new information or some details. Uh, looks like we got a we've got a football stadium going out there this at, uh, this at Sunday afternoon. I'm not really hoping for. Um, okay, Craig, no problem. Thanks. Um, um, maybe later we'll get you up and running um, if you have time. No problem there. Thank you. 
Um, so it, go ahead, Mike, and maybe you can explain uh, this last uh, information. Also, uh, Craig's posted some other information down here, the current condition. Give us a little. I'll, I'll give it my best. Um, on the reconnaissance report, we got uh, closed eye wall circular. It's now 25 miles in diameter, um, which is about the same as it was uh, the last pass through. Um, still look at 166 knots at flight level, and they're in the northeastern quadrant. Reconnaissance is reporting a perfect stadium effect and a textbook radar depiction of the eye wall. Uh, eye center is located 255 miles to the south southeast of Grand Isle. And uh, Craig was passing along some information here, trying to um, look at uh, a maximum potential of uh, 905 millibars. Um, Yep, that's what I see at this point. Um, I think there's been some prizes. Uh, that's a shear estimate. Uh, note the shear is almost nil based on. Oh, right, right. Yeah, shear estimate. Great. That that that's really nice news you passed on, Craig. <laughs> oh boy, that just goes in hand. That everything is coming together as we've discussed here for a strong strengthening hurricane. There's just, there's absolutely no flies. There's not even flies buzzing around the delayment container at this point. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's just everything is pointing towards a, a very strong hurricane and most likely a record-breaking hurricane. From the information that Mike just said, he mentioned that the eye is still not contracting, really. It doesn't seem like it's for the last recon ops. Um, we're maybe hoping to to have uh, an eye wall replacement cycle happen here or something and um, usually you see a little contraction of the eye for that to happen so that the, the outer concentric wall uh, begins to show up a little bit and uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. So it looks like uh, uh, we got a message here also that Governor Blanco, I believe that's from uh, uh, Louisiana, said that uh, President Bush called her and told her to ensure that there was mandatory evacuations of New Orleans, and they did, uh, and they did do it as of uh, as little as you ask uh, of me. So uh, I guess the point is, is President Bush has gotten involved. We know that Max Mayfield called last night into the New Orleans area, and we're very concerned about um, about what's happening there. Uh, Phil, um, you've got some some information that came out. Would you like to go ahead and pass that on? Sure. Good morning. Um, I'm. Uh, this is not firsthand. This is uh, third party. I'm looking at another uh, weather forum online. Also, um, I don't personally have the Weather Channel on my cable, but I'm hearing projected landfall reports from the Weather Channel saying Alabama Mississippi border and Mobile Bay area. I uh, don't know how official that is, where their guidance is coming from, or what. Uh, don't even know if I should even trust that, but uh, it's just what I've heard. And if anybody else has any further information on that, uh, or if I've missed something, I just sat down. So uh, anyway, I'll uh, pass it along. Thanks, Phil. Um, I don't have any clarification of that. Um, I can listen to the official source, but it could very well be <clears throat> that this will adjust you know, 50, 60 miles either direction. The unfortunate part about that is this system has actually got a hurricane force wind field right now of what will probably be a 175, 70 mile an hour hurricane, and that extends outward of 85 miles at least. We may actually may see that get expanded as well, one way or another, at the next advisory that's out out to come out here very soon. Happens to be that uh, <clears throat> a couple of our good friends here at the station. Um, Mike Watkins, who's one of the hosts of the host of Talking Tropics, and uh, really is um, an expert, and he's an expert professional gentleman, uh, very good guy. Is with an, another good guy, uh, Mark Sudith, with uh, Hurricane In Intercepts Research Team, and HurricaneTrack.com is his website, <clears throat> and uh, they are. Uh, they actually intercept hurricanes. They have contact with uh, the National Hurricane Center. They, they are professionals at this. They're not just uh, uh, out there taking pictures and making graphics uh, about it. They're there to collect data, and they pass this data on to the National Hurricane Center. Um, 
and like I say, I mean, they talked to Max Mayfield. They 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 